Um, I was curious what you feel like, how, how different would Carolina be, if at all, offensively well, with their guys? You know, when we played in the first game and Cole was, uh, was, was hurt, you know, they didn't have a point guard that could really blow it at you and put pressure on you. You know, in transition, and that is a that is uh, that is always a huge point of emphasis when you play North Carolina is is having the ability to get your defense set. Uh, we need six eyes: the primary ball defender and those two closest to him in those gaps, looking at the ball and being set. If you're playing transition defense in transition against uh, Cole Anthony and the uh, Tar Heels, that's not going to bode well over the course of the game. What do you feel like it's going to take for for Landers to get off to a good start? Well, you know, I mean, uh, I thought he moved better on uh, on Saturday at uh, at Notre Dame. I thought he's had a great look. His preparation has been very, very good. Uh, He just hasn't scored the ball here of late as he did in the early mid uh, portions of, uh, of our season. He certainly is a humongous difference maker for us when he is uh, when he's playing at a high level. He's done that, you know, uh, many many times. Um, so, you know, we continue to encourage him. Uh, he continues to practice well. We hope we get a great game from him tomorrow night. Yeah. Do you feel like how, how much has the collective, maybe collective wear and tear of like guarding the bigger guys in the front court? Has that taken his legs? Out certainly could be. Certainly could be. We've asked a lot of him. We've had a lot on his plate. You know, over the course uh, of the year, uh, just you know, out of uh, out of necessity. Now, I do think that that, that, that has aided him offensively, uh, as he's gotten a matchup. You know, not every night, but but uh, on many nights that uh, was more favorable to him, and he could outrun that person. He could get into a screening action, come out, you know, and catch with a uh, a good look at it. So, uh, to your point, uh, probably a little bit. Um, uh, but uh, we, we had no choice uh, from what we walked into. And uh, Jalen, I was asking him about growing up, what the ACC tournament meant to him. And yeah. He said, you know, times when he couldn't get a ticket, they'd be outside waiting for buses just yeah. to watch and everything. What For a kid like that, what what do you feel like this tournament means? Like, to have guys on your roster like that, Wilkins too, who, I'm, who I'm, know I'm, the I'm, history. I'm kind of like them, you know, growing up in Radford. And uh, this was the... You know, this was the ultimate. Um, you know, uh, I can remember our elementary teachers rolling the television in on Friday for us to, uh, pardon me, on Thursday, so we could watch the you know four quarterfinal games or whatever until the bell rang. Um, it was like it was like Disney. It was like heaven. This tournament and. Um, you know, North Carolina, NC State, Duke, you know, all those, uh, all those guys to be a part of it for the first time as, uh, as a coach is certainly rewarding and it's a treat to be here and I look forward to our team taking it forward tomorrow. Thanks, Good